Alright scouts, welcome to another camp out. This is our wilderness survival camp out, so I hope you're all excited. We're going to go ahead and uh, discuss the drivers real quick. We're going to do a sound off, and then thanks to the Ricochet's request, we'll be going and taking a minimal bathroom break, and then we're getting out of here as fast as we can. Can you close the door again? <laughs> okay, come back. Alright, is everything good? In this case, the older scouts are doing an activity, right? Oh, that's right. I do have the scouting. Um, you can go ahead and bring it out and try to set it up to the best of your ability. That's fine. Um, if you're waiting on the trailer, uh, wait here. Good luck. Please don't start a war with sticks. Um, do not kill each other. Do not uh, roughhouse. Wow. <laughs> Oh, Wait, is this gonna you be should probably video? tell him that we're uh, the new uh, scouts. Uh, like maybe moving on. I mean, I mean back 360. Since wow. he's probably in it, it's not. Uh, no, it's Ken's probably in it. It's probably not. I have some interesting things. It's like a Hershey's bar. It's like you never know when you might eat chocolate. SPO is the event patrol uh, present and accounted for. Yes, sir. Yes. Can you make a sound off? Let me take a go through some basic um, reminders about survival camping, some tips about how to maximize your opportunity out there, and some procedures as far as coming back to camp, etc., etc., etc. So, wilderness survival is no joke, right? So, there's some like um, merit badges that are like, oh, paper cuts, like the worst thing that can happen, right? Wilderness survival is a little more chunky. What can happen? Death. So, this here, this is our modern art exhibit. We made it ourselves. We summoned lightning to this, to this tree. And it struck it. And here it is. Um, it's each witchcraft. We, yes, and we have our ape enclosure behind you, but it's not an ape yet. Yes. You see, you'll probably see the process of development. Um, but we get a beautiful view of our modern art. And yeah. This is our inspiration. You got all that much in uh, nine. So as reward for splitting this log right here into the, the piece that Mike Cole is touching, we are splitting a Hershey's chocolate bar. Among five people. Yep. yep. Count, who is the old gentleman? Would you guys like to give us a run through of what we've built so far? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, Stick. On yes, stick. This is where we're gonna on have our stick. fire. Very large log for fire. And also some kindling down there for it too. We also have a wall to surround it. A relatively yeah, high one to keep the fire somewhat safe. And then this is what we've built so far. We have an X and they're leaning up against the trees, so we're we also did some tests on them and they should be able to last <laughs> quite a long time and be relatively sturdy. Yeah. Anybody wanna take it from there? I think it's most of it. Yeah. We don't need them. We need them hard. No, this is an excellent. Yeah. So, 
So the first thing that you guys did before. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, definitely gonna need more hatchet. Oh, uh, Jeffrey, have you given them a tour of our uh, camp? I have not. All right. Well, well, Oliver um, takes out his anger on a nine-year-old Fortnite kid who destroyed him yesterday. Ah! We're going to go review the uh, campsite here. So, welcome to the Crusaders campsite. This is a naturally built wilderness survival campsite made with a few layers. We had a structure. Then we labeled it with sticks, and then we put, as you can see, some, uh, what's the word? Some of those pine leaves. Forgot the word, but that's all right. So, as you can see, it's clearly our area, telling by half the flannels here. So, we go ahead and, uh, oh, yes, to get it started, this is going to be our fireplace with our firewood. We're going to be having a much longer fireplace for a beautiful fire this evening. And hopefully, the rocks will help radiate the heat into the area. Now, as we enter in here, we have a naturally built dirt bed. And we have a few more of those. Some of, the, some of us want to build dirt beds, some out of pine needles. That was the word, by the way and some using a tarp, bit of a baby. And if you want to come check out my area, it's just a dark corner with an Uno deck. That's all I have, thank you. So, after reviewing our area, hello Brandon, I would like you guys to give this a 10 on um, Yelp, purely because of the drip cap, all hell the drip lord. But um, that is the review uh, for our campsite. Um, I really do hope you guys enjoyed. So make sure you please subscribe. You ready? Oh. ready? Uh, all right. Here. That was the one. Michael did it. Oh yeah. And we got it on camera. Jeffrey, any final words on um, our campsite here? Um, I think everyone's quite proud of building it, and hopefully, we don't have to completely distribute the wood everywhere tomorrow, or else we're not going to be very happy campers. But we should be good. Okay. Jeffrey, I think I think we should leave this as a monument, especially with the drip cap. Yeah, yeah. You should watch what's going on over there. <laughs> I learned this from Mr. Roberts. Just saying, it's not gonna work. What do you want? Yeah, that not working. Yeah. That's why they classify it as a liquid. Yeah. Yes. Hello. Your computer is ready. Air, uh, do you have cold hands? I have yes. rock. Kent, would you like to explain the night watches? So, we have a system going in. Right, maybe I should have light in my face. Alright, so, we have a system in which uh, me and Oliver are going to be taking the first shift. We're going to go to about uh, midnight-ish. Then we're going to be waking up you and um, Michael. And for you guys to watch the night shift, which I'm sure you're going to get some great recordings of that at the dead of night, and um, after you guys, you'll be waking up Brandon and River, and um, they will go throughout the rest of the night. Love that camera. And, you know, as we are lost in the woods, and this is our almost final documentary, um, we're just making sure we stay observant in the night in case uh, Search and Rescue tries to find us. <laughs> so it's about nine. 30, everyone went to sleep in my little back up. Except Brandon. Oh. Sort of a rate your sleeping experience. Um, two and a half out of ten. What was wrong with it? Uh, one, I could find a very comfortable position. And two, I got my 
very fluffy blanket stolen by my Chad partner. About you, Jeffrey? Well, it is a two and a half, that way. <laughs> like a one, that's not, not horrible, it's just cold. And I realize I can only sleep in my back. Michael had the right idea for side sleeping. No, bro, staying out here is the game plan. Staying out here is the game plan, I think. That's the only way to be able to sleep and be warm at the same time. Well, this name is Brandon, and he's just been size. Yep. Michael, how about you? Yes, I was picking up some twigs with Jeffrey's um, gloves that were on fire. Dude, you literally, yeah. Yeah, you literally you were picking up sticks on fire. <laughs> I on was. On fire pose, you were picking up with the glove. Those gloves are definitely not fireproof. They're just. Yeah, I know, I noticed, I can feel that. <laughs> You're so dumb. If I go fast enough, it could work. Finger. What are those? Beetles. No, what are those, bro? <laughs> you see this tiny spider in there? What are those? <laughs> so good oh, that guy looks like a glide. Like a gliding spider. That's not something I want to look at, man. How long can we keep Campfire alive? Come on, we, what are we doing? The whole shift? We. Hey guys, we're we. doing all the shifts. Two minutes to breakfast. Get in there, get in there, get in there. Dylan is the assistant patrol leader. Is the By far, the best breakfast I've ever had at a Troop 15 outing. For sure. Um, sure can't can agree. The ham is amazing. The ham? It's not just regular ham. The best time I've had in my life. Period. Period. Maybe it's because I was starved and I just really like it. Or maybe because it is. Who knows? Oh, in the end? It's good. It's dirty. Personal experience. I wasn't, I wasn't okay, so this is Michael's bed he made. It took him like an hour. It took. And you got one hour to return. To get it perfectly sweat. flat and stuff. So I got a pillow here. Yeah. And there's two different ways I can sleep. Yeah, pillow. I got a side way. No. <laughs> <laughs> Terrorism <laughs> once again strikes. Okay. Haley, good job. So you can sleep like this on side, and if you wanted to move, it works perfectly for my body. But yeah, and there's contour lines fit like back and hip and stuff, you know, Your with toes? this, and then you put this stuff on top and you go, okay, hold it, but you actually do, because it's really cold out so, well, yeah. Did you put any, any um, needles on the bottom? Yeah, I put all this. How, how thick, how thick was it? Not thick. Well, all of this. Get out. I don't know if I can save you. 
Um, does awesome. everyone have a way to contact their parents to tell them to pick you up, or do you need I the can driver's contact My dad can drive the I do. I need my dad. Hereby be the new drip lord. Yes. As I crown with you the drip. Oh, Kenneth SPL Roberts. I Take your crown and rule. I, Sir Kenneth SPL, am the new drip lord. Praise me as the new drip king. Are you the historian now, Jeffrey? I have always been the historian. So, He's always. I'm, I'm, you know what? You know what? After my long term as SPL, because I plan on rerunning, I'm going I'm to I'm do a simple life as a historian. Yeah, oh, he'll never take me over. I thought I'd do a simple I'll take you over. Hi. Yeah, it actually is. Yeah. If, if there's there's going to be a lot of editing. Editing. There is going to be a lot of editing. Yeah, right here. Okay, so here today, we have our second art exhibit. Uh, we did, and in fact, make this from scratch. There's plenty of scratch around here. We're going to sell this for millions um, out here in the woods. Uh, yes, Ken? Uh, so, uh, as a reporter, I need to make sure that I report on this. Uh, my boss is... In, never mind, never mind, never mind. What were the materials that you used to make this luxurious artwork? Yes, very good question. Scratch. Scr scratch? We made it from scratch. 